So in today's video, we're going to dive into the most common cause of heel pain in children, and that is Severs disease. We're going to go through what this condition is, how it's caused, and of course, how we treat it in practice. If you're ready, let's dive in. So Severs disease or calcaneal apophysitis is a growth plate injury. In Severs, the growth plate of the posterior calcaneus bone becomes inflamed and irritated due to repeated pulling or traction from the Achilles tendon. This repeated traction causes swelling, pain and inflammation of the posterior calcaneus, creating Severs disease. A contributing factor is also increased impact forces on the calcaneus, perhaps through activities like jumping. Severs disease most commonly occurs in children between the ages of 8 and 15 years of age and represents between 2 and 16% of all MSK cases in a paediatric clinic. We can easily see the signs of Severs disease on an x-ray where you might see thickening and blurring of the growth plate of the posterior calcaneus where the Achilles tendon inserts into. So as we said, the main pathophysiology is repeated traction from the Achilles tendon on the calcaneus. This is going to occur in children with overuse due to repetitive impacts in movements such as jumping or running that really need those calf muscles. This can be worsened by footwear that is inadequate or perhaps without cushioning. Sports that are most commonly associated with severs include athletics, football, basketball, ballet and tennis, as well as any running activity practiced on hard surfaces. Other considerations include accelerated growth periods in the child where muscle development is slower than bone development, which could lead to muscular tension. Increased obesity is also an increased risk factor for Severs disease, as well as when children have a limitation in the dorsiflexion movement of the ankle as well. So therefore, how do we manage this condition in physiotherapy? Well, the honest answer is it's not that simple. This isn't something that we expect to go away in a couple of weeks. Instead, it may require a longer period of dedicated management to try and reduce the load going through the Achilles tendon and thus the heel. So the first thing we're going to think about is education to the patient and their parents on load management. It makes sense that the more activity that occurs, the more load going through the tendon and thus the heel. So we might need to reduce the activity of that individual, reduce the amount of jumping and running they're doing, potentially also the amount of sport they're doing to try and allow those structures to settle and therefore reduce the severity of the severs. Having the patient go to the doctor could also be useful for the prescription of non-steroidal anti-inflammatories to try and reduce the inflammation further. And we can also use additional support such as a heel cup on the calcaneus affected to try and reduce the amount of pressure going through that bone. Now, we also mentioned about this limitation in dorsiflexion, which could increase the likelihood of Severs disease developing. So therefore, as physiotherapists, we can prescribe our patient calf stretching exercises to try and allow the increase in dorsiflexion to reduce the risk of Severs developing. We also need to think about footwear, crucially important. As we said, inadequate footwear can contribute to severs. And therefore, we need to educate the patient on using better trainers with a better cushioning and perhaps even referring to podiatry if need be for additional orthotics if that would be useful for the patient. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button. And remember, we've got loads of resources on our Instagram account, at Clinical Physio, and we've got loads of individual webinars on paediatric conditions on our website, member.clinicalphysio.com, link in the description below. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.